hello friend welcome to my youtube channel mechanical design and done. so in this video uh, we will discuss the injection molding some important question and answer and we will understand the process and the related points uh, about the injection molding so this one is a part 2 okay part 2 video so part 1 is already up, uh, uploaded uh, on the youtube channel so you can also watch that video okay so let's start so the first question is uh, what is the purpose of runner and the sprue in the injection molding so the sprue is the channel through which molten plastic enter the mold cavity from the injection unit so uh, uh, from the sprue so here you can see the sprue is there so from this uh, in the sprue we are pouring the material okay pouring the material and through the runner so through the runner it will goes into the all the cavities okay cavity okay so here the runner is the passage that connect the sprue to various cavity okay and runner help to distribute the plastic evenly evenly ensuring the uniform filling of all the mold cavity so here you can see from this sprue we are pouring the material and through the runner through I mean uh, from the sprue it will goes to the runner and through the runner it will goes to the gate and to the cavity okay so gate is at the every cavity okay so so this one is the complete runner and this one is a small passage is called as gate okay so these are the all the parts okay means cavity okay in the mold so next question is how can you optimize the cycle time of the injection molding process so the cycle time is nothing but the in how much time okay so how much time we are producing the part okay so here we can see that 15 uh, means 35 seconds so in 35 seconds we are producing the part okay we are manufacturing the component so for one cycle so in one cycle we can produce the number of part also because uh, for the multi uh, multi uh, for the multi part mode we have we can produce the number of part suppose the single uh, part uh, here we are considering so for uh, so for 35 seconds so this one is a 35 second is a cycle time so in 35 seconds we are producing the part okay so the cycle time is very important for the manufacturing point of view okay for the production okay so for the production point of view the cycle time is very important so we need the maximum production of the part okay so to optimize the cycle time we can adjust the cooling time injection speed and the holding pressure based on the material and the part geometry okay and the efficient mold design and including the some uh, uh, cooling channel in the mold also contribute the uh, reducing the cycle time so these are the some factor with, uh, uh, with the help of this factor we can optimize the cycle time so this one first figure you can see that this graph so uh, for uh, suppose I uh, considering the hundred percent so out of hundred percent we are consuming more time 65 percent time we are consuming for the cooling okay so uh, for this complete cycle we are 65 percent time we are consuming for the cooling and rest you can see here okay like a mold close filling the material packing and holding the material into the model for the ejection so so these are the point but uh, 65 percent time we are consuming for the cooling okay so here in this cycle also you can see so this graph so this one shows the pressure okay okay so this one and this is the holding time so also we are uh, if we play with the holding time pressure okay uh, also it is a uh, if i play uh, correct if i play correctly with this uh, uh, holding pressure then also we can optimize the cycle time okay next one is the what safety consideration are important when working with the injection molding machine okay so safety is a first factor okay uh, for, uh, suppose you are working on any machine so our safety is a first factor that we need to consider 
so these are the some safety consideration which includes the proper machine uh, guiding to the prevent the access of moving part during the operation okay we need uh, the proper proper uh, guidance to uh, moving the uh, when uh, there are there are the moving components so some uh, a preventive access should be there okay so and then use of the personal protective equipments training on the machine operation emergency procedures and proper handling of the hot material and the mold so these are the some uh, safety factors that we need to consider next one is how can you ensure the consistent color and the surface finish in the injection molded part so this part you can see the color of the part so here the faded portion is there and here is the dark color is there so this this uh, this effect is called a discoloration effect in the plastic product okay so the discoloration effect uh, it, it not affect on the part performance but uh, it affect on the aesthetic look of the part okay so to cons to have the consistent color and the finish uh, in the part so we can achieve by using the high quality colorant okay so we need to use the high quality colorant that can sustain the temperature and the pressure okay and we need to regularly cleaning the cleaning and maintenance of the machine machine is required and uh, and more to prevent the contamination okay so we need to prevent the contamination and regular cleaning and maintenance of the machine machine we need okay to have the uh, good finish part with the uh, consistent color okay next question is what role does simulation software plays in the injection molding process so simulation process is very important so before going to manufacture manufacturing manufacture the part so we need to perform the simulation uh, simulation of that product because uh, we need to we came to know that the flow analysis the strength of the part how that part will perform under the condition okay so that we will already uh, miss uh, we will uh, miss before that part is going under the means actual operation we will uh, predict the all the uh, miss situation of that part okay so the simulation is very important so the simulation software help in predict and optimize the various aspect of the process okay such as we can understand the flow pattern cooling efficiency and the potential defects okay uh, and this simulation it allows for the virtual testing of the different scenario and reduces uh, reducing the need for the physical trial and error and adding in the process optimization so to have the part error free and for uh, error free and the complete uh, uh, good efficiency we need to process with the simulation so we have the different different software for the simulation okay next question is what is the difference between single shot uh, molding and the multi shot molding okay so the single shot molding it involves in injecting the single type of material into the mold cavity to form the part so here you can uh, see the example here so this is a single shot molding example okay then the multi shot molding so multi shot molding allows the injection of two or different material okay or colors okay in a single molding cycle in enabling the creation of complex and the multi material part so here you can see that so this one is the different material and this one is the different material so this is a multi shot molding and generally we will call it as a uh, this one is generally we call it as a over molding okay so there are two different material we we can attach together with this molding so here we can see what is the over molding and what are its advantage so here as we discussed so the over molding is a process where one material is molded on the another material okay so often bonding of the two different types of 
plastic or the plas uh, plastic with the plastic or the plastic with the other material like metal so with the help of ore molding we can uh, uh, means we can uh, mold it the plastic over plastic or the plastic over the uh, metal okay here uh, the primary material you can see here uh, we generally call it as a substrate and the uh, uh, over molded we can we can call it as a over molding okay and this one is the uh, means uh, uh, bolt here it is a insert bolt okay so the advantage of the over molding is in uh, enhance the functionality improve the uh, improves the grip and reduces the vibration and aesthetically uh, it is a good one okay so generally the over molded component you can see the brush are there which is having the different color and the different material over on this for the gripping purpose okay next question is how can you address the issue related with the air traps or the voids in the injection part okay so the voids uh, voids or the air traps in the plastic component this is a uh, uh, this one is the uh, means the defect in the plastic okay so because of the air trap sometimes the material will not fill completely so is nothing but the short short okay so to minimize the air trap proper gate placement uh, mold venting is uh, and the optimizing the flow pattern of the molten plastic so they can help to evaluate the air from the mold cavity during the filling okay so we need to focus on the proper uh, proper gate location and the proper venting of the mold okay and we need to work on the, uh, optimizing the flow pattern of the uh, material okay so if we work on this one then we can address the we can address the means uh, air traps or the voids in the we can avoid the air traps and the voids in the injection molded part next question is what is scientific molding and why it is important so the scientific molding is the process where fill pack and the hold stretch are treated separately okay to minimize the fluctuation while improving the overall product consistency how do you handle the material shrinkage in the injection molding process so here on the on this part you can see here the dimple like uh, uh, shape here on the part so this one is a shrink mark so this one is because of the non uniform thickness or the non uniform material of the part okay so we need to keep the uniform thickness of the part okay so the material shrinkage is the natural occurrence as the plastic cool and solidify and the shrinkage is the contraction of the uh, of the plastic molded component as it becomes cool after the injection process okay so the all the plastic shrink as they cool from a uh, viscous liquid to solid so so during the solidification this plastic uh, is shrink and every type of plastic shrink is slightly different away because the shrink shrinkage depends on the material to material so different material having the different shrink rate okay so next one is what are the consideration when we are selecting the gate type for the injection molding so here you can see the different types of the gate for the injection molding like a sprue gate pin gate edge gate ring gate tab gate film gate fan gate and the diaphragm gate okay so these are the number of gates okay so the choice of the gate uh, it depends on the factor uh, like the part geometry material flow uh, material flow and the aesthetic preference so uh, the uh, the choice of the gate it depends upon this factor means part geometry uh, it's a mainly depends on the part geometry okay so the proper gate selection uh, ensure the minimum aesthetic defects and optimize the material distribution so we need to select the proper gate location and the proper gate type to avoid the defects okay
नेक्स्ट वन इज हाउ कैन यू इंश्योर दैट द इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग प्रोसेस मीट द इन्वायरमेंटल स्टेबिलिटी गोल ओके तो दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड विद द इन्वायरमेंटल स्टेबिलिटी गोल ओके सो सो टू अलाइन विद सस्टेनेबली आई मीन सस्टेनेबिलिटी गोल सो वी नीड टू कंसिडर यूजिंग द रिसाइक्लेबल और बायो बेस प्रोडक्ट ओके बायो बेस प्लास्टिक ओके to optimize the part design to reduce the material uses and minimizing the waste of the regrinding the uh, re, by regrinding the screw and uh, runner uh, runner for reuse okay mm, last question is uh, what measure can we uh, can be taken to prevent the degradation of plastic material during the injection molding process so so the material degradation degradation can occur due to excessive heat so to prevent this use a appropriate processing temperature and ensure the proper screw design for the uniform melting and avoid the extended residence time in the barrel okay so friends uh that's it for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching see you in the next video